hey you did you just see that because i'm pretty sure that intro right there was amazing and it was done with windows movie maker and i'm gonna show you how to do it so in this video like i just said i'm showing you how to make an intro with windows live movie maker that you can get on any windows you can possibly get it on mac if a certain download i'm not sure i've never used a mac but that's beside the point you came here because you had a movie maker now the last video I made was how to do this with the 2011 version and this is an updated one we're gonna get more creative and this is the 2012 version and honestly as you can see nothing much has changed there's new share options to I'm not sure the V I'm not sure what it is Vimo or something Vimo exactly oh, there we go and some animations to start it off when we get in more visual effects you can emphasize your narration for your commentary or you can emphasize your video or if you're doing hardcore montage that you want to do you can emphasize your music just saying anything you can do and then added waveforms in here it's it's a lot cooler now waveforms basically whenever you put your music in it'll show you the high points in the song the loud points and all that now for your background you can download your own. I'll have a link in the description to download the loops, or you can create your own, which is what we're going to get creative with here. I've created mine. It's not very creative, but it's demonstration to show you what you can do. As long as you have an AV file or an MP4 file, you just drag it in here, and it's basically just me opening up a notepad and typing custom loop. Nothing new, nothing creative, but it's showing you what you can do. Now, the creativity for this part is all up to you. You can make it as creative as you want or as simple as you want or you can just download a loop make it all whatever you want and you can make this come into your intro. Some of you may like cinematics or blur. I kinda like the come in from crossfade whenever I play it comes into the intro and I've picked out a point in my music which you should too if the song is rising into the epic the drop I guess is what you could call it so my song does it rises up and then it hits the best part of the song so it'd be ideal for you to find that point where it's not jumpy it doesn't jump straight into the song and it's the loudest point it could often scare people and there's not much it's just already happened there's no preparation for it most people I don't, well, I don't know about you but whenever I hear the song getting up I'm getting hyped to it and as soon as it drops the energy is all right there. Now, as you can see, my video is longer than my music. So how to fix this, if we just click the video tools up here in the edit, and we go to the trim tool, we can choose an endpoint for our video, and my music is 12 seconds, 59 milliseconds, so we're just going to do 12.59, and we're going to click save trim. And the video has trimmed to the MP3 file. Now, we've got that done and this is the wave thing I was telling you about, waveforms. You'll see it looks like mountaintops. These are levels in the song. Some people understand this, some people don't. If you don't, it's not a big deal. If you do, it's just a kick. What we're gonna do, my video blur came in in black and my music comes in and this is what we have. It's basically all it is. Now, like I said, with the background loop, you can do anything you want. It's all up to you. Now, we're going to add some text in here, some captions. Now, you can download a link. I'll have a download in the description and a link to get the download to the best site that I've found for fonts. It is, they have all kinds of fonts I used in my last video. They've gotten even better this time. They've gotten a user-friendly interface. It's absolutely amazing. And I didn't download a special one. I'm just going to use Impact here to show you guys. And we're going to edit it here. I'm just going to put my name. You can do whatever you want with this. It doesn't have to be your name. It can be whatever you want it to be, what you do. Subscribe, comment, like, whatever you want. Now, depending on how big your name is depends on how large the style you can be, large font. Now, this demonstration is not going to be very creative. I've already said this, but you can make yours amazingly creative. And we're going to want to move this to the front. And our text tools, it's a little, 
it's a little long. I'm going to try and get three in here. So the text duration, it goes for seven seconds. That's a little long. If I have a 12 second and I need to get three in there, I'm going to do four seconds. Well, it trims it down. And then we've got... So I'd like to get a little better with that. So as I like to do, as you may assume, is my cinematic intros. I always use cinematic because it really helps. Looks a lot better than just black text. Now, I'm going to go right up to the end of this, and I'm going to add another caption. And it's going to say, subscribe. That's not how we spell subscribe. If you'd like to subscribe, I'm not sure how to do that. We can subscribe. There we go. And we're going to change this to a better style, a better size. And we're going to put it in the corner up here. Where it's not all in the same spot. And we're going to add a little bit more to this too. It's whatever you want. I'm going to throw that in there. I kind of like that. And same thing with the text duration. It should start. My last one ended on 400. It should start on 4.01. If you want to get real precise with it. And it should end on 8. No, no, no. Duration should be 4. Sorry. Just going for 4 seconds and end on 8. So now we're going to go to the very end over here, and we're going to add our last caption, or you can have as many captions as you want. One, eight, whatever it is. Just try not to make your intro way too long, like a 30 second intro, because it's going to kind of get boring. And one thing that I want to touch on is copyright. Now, with your music, the fair use laws are allowed to have 10 seconds of sample music. And as you can see, we have 12. So that's technically not within that copyright law. So we need to make this 10 seconds exactly. And now for the, if you've made your video, there's no real time. But I'm going to do this just to get everything right. And we don't need copyright laws. All right. Now it's 10 seconds, I need to edit my little text now. So, we need 3 in there. So let's do math. 10 divided by 3, we're going to do... Eh, I'll have a little time left over for my video. And we're just going to do 2.5. Now, if you've purchased this music, it's all good. Now, you can research copyright laws later on and see just exactly what I mean by that. And we got our last caption, and we'll make this one cover the rest of the video. Why not? And I'm going to say like slash comment. And same thing. My same font. You can use different fonts if you want. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to make it people can see it. And we're going to put it in the bottom corner. Or you, wherever you want to put it. I like mine. I don't like mine in the same spot. Spaced out. And how are we going to put this in here? We'll do that again. And now, for your overall intro, you've got... There you go. That's basically how to make your intro. Now, you don't have to exactly copy what I do. This is to show you, this is what the tool does, this is what you can do. Have fun. Be creative. That's the most important thing. Be creative. It's your intro. Don't try and be my intro. It's it's your intro. Have fun with it. And I look forward to seeing a bunch of video responses. I love getting comments, messages, and video responses. Message me if you want more video ideas. I can, I'm can. i open to anything for you guys. And I want to subscribe, comment, and rate. 
and thank you guys for watching.